Greetings, citizens of Nerdropolis. Sean Todd here, the mayor of Nerdropolis, and I had the honor to host the Walker Scobell and Mason Thames panel at Superhero Comic Con. Hello, Okay. How y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? I am Sean Todd. I'm the moderator of this panel. I am the mayor of Nerdropolis. So if you go to Nerdropolis.com, that is your one-stop place for movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers. I know y'all are here for a specific reason. Are y'all excited? All right, so when they come out, you can stand on your feet, get excited. Once we get sit down and everything, we're going to mellow out and see what these guys have to say, because we have a lot of questions here. A lot of good ones, too. I'm not sure I'm going to get to do all of this. This is wild. But, like I said, we don't have about one, but two incredible young talents joining us. They represent the next generation of Hollywood magic. One of the stars brought Percy Jackson alive with his amazing performance in Endless Show. Another star, Black Phone, is bringing the beloved hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. Make some noise, and I'll tell you twice for Walker Scobell and Mason Day. What do you think about this? I don't know how to sit. I don't know, I don't know how to do my hands. I'm with y'all. This is, I've been doing this all weekend, and this is the biggest crowd I've seen. How does it feel? This is crazy. This, this is crazy. Oh my God. I, don't, I feel like I should be interviewing you. No, I should be interviewing you. I shouldn't be here. That's all I know. I shouldn't be here at all. It's just y'all two talking to each other. I'm going to do my best to hang out with y'all, hopefully, you know. This friendship becomes a, a triplet friendship. I want to be one of the boys. That's what I want to do. You are awesome. Already are. Already are. So the fun thing is, I heard y'all just met for the first time last night, but y'all had a friendship for the past, I don't know how long. Let me know how this worked out, how this BFF session happened now. Technically, technically we're online friends. Should, can I explain it? Yeah, you can explain it, yeah. He, uh, he messaged me on Christmas Day randomly and was just like, yo, do you play Fortnite? I was like, uh, sure. And he was like, yo, hop on. It's, like, it's Christmas. And we played Fortnite, and now we've known each other ever since. Exactly. It's exactly how it happens. <laughs> so when y'all met for the first time in person, how was that like? Just total bro, a bro ship. I think it all fell apart. Like, I immediately decided to, I blocked him on all forms of social media. This is all just a phase. I don't know. Like, yeah. He's annoying. I'm pretending to be excited about this, but... Well, hopefully between the two of y'all, there'll be a lot of pranks, I feel like. Look at that. They what? can't believe this. This is insane. This is wild. So just cool. take it all in. This is the whole point for yeah. all of us to sit here. Take it all in. Y'all have a great time out here. So I'm gonna start off with some questions. There's a lot. I don't know how we're gonna yeah. do this, but we'll make it through. What I like this is a Republican. Well, outside being great actors and the acting, what are some of y'all hobbies? Outside Fortnite, obviously, but what's all hobbies for y'all y'all like to do? Maybe some other video games too. I want to know what else y'all only Fortnite. That's what I do. I get on this going on this bridge for Fortnite. Fortnite. Unreal. I shouldn't have said that. No, I sound so stupid. Is your microphone broken? No. Okay. But uh yeah, no, I mean, I, uh, I skateboard, I guess, I ski, um, I don't know. Wait, wait, no, no, yeah. lot? I, I used to skateboard a lot, and I broke my collarbone, then I stopped. I guess, like, skateboarding and football, and then, yeah, I guess I can. Just so I can relate with y'all, I'm a lover of the X Games, I'm an X Gamer person, and I loved um, coming out. X Games is an awesome, it's awesome to do, so if you ever get a chance to experience it's X Games, good. yeah, X Games when I tour, it's awesome. We should go to one of those. Let's go to the X Games, yeah. That'd so be sick. sick. I want to go to the Olympics someday. And you're an Olympian. You're I, right there. Oh, oh my god, technically. <laughs> Full circle. That's cool. Think about that. That's a knee slap. That was a knee slap. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we got a Colette here. Some, someone sitting in the front row named Colette. Alright, what's our there? She's asking, what's your dream role and some advice you would give to uh, actors just starting out? I like your uh your cosplay, by the way, that's awesome. It is I like your dagger, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you got the ring. That's crazy. That used to be a lightsaber? You turned it into that? 
It's innovative. That's awesome. Oh, it's, it still lights up? That's awesome. You made those? Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we got a lot of Percy Jackson fans, it looks like here. Question real quick. Some advice, some advice you give for y'all young actors, but y'all start off much younger. What is some piece of advice that you think you can share with all the others that are young that want to start doing what y'all do? I would say it's definitely easy to get like discouraged because you hear no a lot, but just keep going. You know, eventually you will get something. Yeah, no. When I started, I think it was I probably went on for about like three or four years, just no's, 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 and I was like, maybe it just isn't for me. And then I was like, okay, I'll just stick to it. And I got the audition for Black Phone, and that just changed. Yeah, just like don't listen, to, don't listen to the naysayers. Just like if you want to do it, then you know, do it. It's a pretty fun job. It is, yeah. <laughs> so speaking of Black Phone, there is a sequel in the works. I watched the film. I'm obviously a grown man, so I was scared watching. How <laughs> was it on set of uh, filming that? Because it's a very eerie, eerie film. Yeah, I mean, like, going into it, I, I was I was terrified because, you know, it's a horror movie, so I don't really know what to expect. Plus, it was my first movie. But you're working with Ethan and, and Maddie and, you know, all the cast, and it was so much fun. And most of the time, when I was getting, when I was about to get murdered, I was smiling a lot. And they had to tell me to stop smiling. And I was like, yeah, you're right, because I'm about to die. You know, but, you know it, was, it was so much fun. Yeah, we're excited to see more. You want to see another Black Phone, Black Phone fans out there? Yeah! So obviously that's in the horror genre, but for both of y'all, any, who's the bigger horror fan you think between the two of you? You like horror films? I don't, I mean, I don't, I watch. I think we're about even, right? Yeah, probably yeah. even. I don't watch them at night. That's, I can't watch That's a smart thing. I can't. I can. <laughs> no, I can only, I watch, I remember the, First time I watched one, I think it was like in City or something. I just That's waited scary. the night out and then just slept in the morning. <laughs> but yeah. I remember I watched Lights Out with my friend after a football game, and we went up to his house, and it was really late because his, his older sister took us, so his parents were already asleep and everything. The house was like dark, and his room was upstairs, and we both looked up the staircase, and we did not want to go upstairs, so we slept in the living room, <laughs> like, like, like literally on the floor. Yeah. Walker, I want to talk about the Adam Project. Yeah. <laughs> to you. I guess everyone fell in love with you there. I mean, what a great film that was. What a great cast. Um, how would you become like Ryan Reynolds' mini-me? I just watched that too over and over and over again. I don't know. I should like check how many watch hours I have on that, if that's possible. Because it, it just, I don't think I went outside for a couple months. But yeah. yeah. There's, there's no, I haven't seen any rumors about this, but you, you, you don't have no involvement in Deadpool Wolverine. In any, uh, can't speak I, of it anyways if it is, but you could probably rent out a movie theater to watch that with, with that, everyone. Oh yeah, I'm excited to watch, we should watch that. Actually. We should watch that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make like a full watch party. But um, yeah, uh, I, I told him, because I knew cause Sean was, they were talking about doing that on the Adam Project, and Sean directed. I told him that like, they just, if they have anything, and it has to be a monologue for me to mo like memorize again, uh, but hopefully it has that, but yeah, I'm, I'm not involved as of now, but yeah, excited. I'm excited for that film, but also, you know, Ron Reynolds, any piece of advice he gave you while doing that film? Uh, a big piece of advice that he gave me that was like, kind of more for like acting, uh, is when like, it's really easy to start kind of saying everything the same way, uh, and so, <laughs> Every, like in between every take, we would just jump up and down for like six minutes. And I have a bunch of videos of me just doing that on set. And I still do that now. Sometimes you just like take a run. Uh, but yeah, just like shake it out and change things up. So another big movie, not big movie, big show, Percy Jackson. I'm gonna say Percy Jackson, I'm gonna get the same screams every time. So that's why I'm reluctant at asking Percy Jackson questions. Um, Great trio, I must say, and I actually spoke to Arian a while ago, 
And can you talk about the guest stars that are part of season one, which were amazing? And do you have a favorite? That's a good question. Um, I would say I get a lot of questions about Lynn, Lynn Manuel Miranda. Uh, he was really, he's exactly how you would imagine him to be. Like, exactly. Uh, in between takes, you just like make up songs and stuff like that. Uh, but I would say, I mean, I like them all equally, obviously, but if I had to pick, probably Adam Copeland, The Edge. He was Wrestling awesome. fans here? A couple wrestling fans here. I grew up with the Edge, uh, big WWE fan. Uh, I share with Arian, actually, um, my first in-person junket was with the late Vance Reddick, who plays Zeus. You all like Luke? Zeus in the show? Yeah. So I had a great pleasure of asking about it during John Wick Chapter 4. And so one of the great interviews I had with him, and he loved being part of Percy Jackson. Uh, but that was a great one. Any memories we can share about Lance Reddick and that amazing like final episode? That was like epic. Yeah, so I remember the first time I ever acted with him, we were doing a blocking, and I didn't know like how tall he was. He's like, yeah, I mean, I don't know, he was like, at the time, I was probably like five foot. Oh, he's a tall so guy. He was tall, like tall, three tall. feet taller than me. But um, I remember he was sitting in his throne, and I walked up, and I immediately forgot my lines, and he stood up, because I was like actually terrified of him. Uh, yeah, yeah. He was a really cool guy. He's a really cool dude, for sure. Strong presence, sweetheart, humble guy, great actor, for sure. So we definitely miss him. Uh, question from Olivia for Walker. What was your favorite scene to film and why? And also, a favorite scene partner? That's a good question. Um, I would say my, like, a favorite scene partner of mine uh, was probably Arian. It was really fun to film a scene. So I am Leah, too. But I would say... We definitely weren't as focused when we were working together. Um, so that was good for me, worse for everyone else on set. Uh, but yeah. yeah. Anything you can tell us about season two? <laughs> season two. Are you yeah. for season two? I don't know how much information I could give out, but I have read oh, episode we know one of two. We know which book it is. We know which book it is, The Sea of Monsters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know I don't know much how much information I can give out. I mean it's hmm. It's a good idea. Arian's dress looks amazing on her. We can expect some great guest stars as well, kind of similar to season one. So we I go. think so. Yeah, there's a there's a long scene with Hermes which I'm excited about, um, so yeah. You have a favorite book? Favorite book? Um, out of the first five? All, any of them, yeah. I would say, I gotta say, The Last Olympian. But, <laughs> but other than that, I'd say Tank's Curse. I like that one a lot, actually, yeah. Never read the books? I'm sorry. Well, no, 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 no,
And they were like, Mason, stop. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? So I, every once in a while, I, like sometimes I say like the word dragon, the way he would say like dragon. I'm like Mason, don't do that. I'm like, my bad guys. But yeah, no, I, I can't say too much. But we had so much fun making it, and the sets, the cast, and you know, it was made with so much love. And I'm so excited, you know, for you guys to see it. And I'm excited to see it. All excited? So this question, I think it's, is it Taylor? Is there Taylor out there? Or go back there. For both of you, of course, who would win in a fight, Percy or Pico? <laughs> Depends what, like, Depends which talk. book. That's the thing, like, like anything book. past, like, book five, Percy would obliterate me. Oh, and see, this is, a, this is a thing that we talk we about this a lot. It. Um, I would say movie two, Hiccup, beats, I would say up until the beginning of book three, Percy. Yeah, that's fair. Because that's fair. Only because he like literally dodges a bullet. Yeah. But, I don't know. I'm pretty excited for you for movie two. That's gonna be crazy. I'm excited for season two. Dude, we gotta have an actual play. So cool. I know, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's so weird that we both get to be like a part of such an like amazing, I don't know, like. No, no, it, 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 we are so lucky to be a part of something that so many people like like care about. It, it, it's just so cool. Exactly, like so many of you guys like were huge fans of the world, like even before yeah. any of our like shows or movies were out. So it's it's just super weird to us. <laughs> well, take it all in. Uh, this question is from Anya from Chicago. Is she even here still? No, Anya from Chicago, but that's a great question. Um, who was the first person you told when you got cast as Percy? And I guess when you got cast Mason as Hiccup, who'd you tell? And what was like your family's reaction? So great question for both of y'all. Um, the first, I mean, my family was the first like kind of group of people I told, but I would guess, I think the first person, or the first thing I did was call the secret headquarters group chat and tell them, because. I just came off that movie, but uh, yeah, what about you? This first person you told? I wanted to tell everybody, but legally I couldn't. So <laughs> I, I, I wrote this funny story. I'm gonna throw my sister under the bus. Whenever I, I got the audition, she was, uh, she goes, you're auditioning for Hiccup? You're not gonna get that job. And then when I got it, she called me, oh, I, I always knew you'd get it. Oh my God, I believe in you. Can't wait to come visit. No, you're not. I don't know you. Yeah, I, I, I told my family first and then some of my friends, but yeah. What are some of the films like your, your parents or family introduced you to at, at a young age that's stuck with y'all? First movie I ever watched was Percy Jackson. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I started watching Deadpool 2 at an alarmingly young age. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know, Back to the Futures. We just met. We just met Lee and Oh my gosh. I was freaking out. We were both freaking out. I don't know what to say. I was walking in the door and I did like a Marty McFly double take on her. I was, <laughs> and then she just kind of looked at me like I was probably like a weirdo or something. Uh, she's so cool though. So nice. Uh, uh, somebody over here for that Leah Thompson panel. That was a great one. Back to the future fans. So for the both of y'all, what's like the ultimate movie night consist of? Like what type of snacks? How many movies are we watching? We're doing blankets. What are we doing to make us come up for a movie night? Ultimate movie. A lot of junk food. Oreos. Some Oreos. Yeah. Cheetos. Wrap back with cheese. Do the what? I don't think I. I there's, can. There's so many children here. Cheese now? I don't think I remember. Uh, do I still eat it? Uh, can you make it? Can I make it? Oh, crap mac and cheese thing. What's the thing? The what's your the, what's the crap mac and cheese thing? The crap mac and cheese. So <laughs> did you ever see that commercial? Yes. Uh, I guess they want me to recreate that. Uh, I don't want to scar any of the kids in here, but uh, <laughs> no, I've never mentioned any popcorn. Y'all do popcorn for you? Bob. Oh, yeah, oh, Bob a lot of butter, a little yeah. salt. It's like a no-brainer. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is so, like, insane. Y'all haven't obviously 
y'all just met, but like, would y'all want to do a, a film together or something? We've been talking, talking about, about this, that? Yeah. We have been talking about this a lot. So cool. We have to. We have to. Yeah. What type of genre are we thinking? Sci-fi? A little drama? Mm. Honestly, anything. A comedy? Anything. Comedy would be nice. That'd be kind of sick. That'd be fun to film. But, like uh, an alternate version of Step Brothers? Oh, we would do an alternate version of Step Brothers. Oh, Nights? Talladega Nights, we do a shake. And big. That would be good. Oh god, that'd be sick. Jinx. <laughs> well, both of y'all, you know, with the, the film and Percy Jackson and How to Train Your Dragon, a lot of physicality in, in these. Can you talk about the training y'all go through and what y'all's preparation leading up to filming and uh, how tough is it? For Hiccup, it, 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 not till the second movie, he doesn't do a lot of stunt stuff. But for this one, Hiccup, you know, he moves a lot, he moves his arms a lot in the way he talks, and, and he falls a lot. So I had to learn how to fall really well, because that's mainly what I did, was just fall. But yeah, no, it was, it was a lot of hard work, and we spent about a month beforehand just like, you know, practicing and doing flips and stuff, and that was so much fun. I agree, I also had a lot of falling. Uh, got that in common, man. Sorry. Do. <laughs> it's okay, I forgive you. Uh, you have me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I guess I mean, there was a lot of like sword fighting and I guess some like wire work, like, a little bit of wire work. Um, but yeah, I think I guess more, mainly like the Minotaur fights with we had the most training for. But uh, that was so cool, dude! I can't. I actually can't wait for that training back. And I've been, I've been trying to get him like semi spoilers. He won't. But uh, one day, soon, hopefully, hopefully, please. <laughs> Did y'all take anything uh, from the set of Percy Jackson or any of the sets you've been on, even Black Phone? I mean, did you take the phone? <laughs> uh, I have PTSD from that phone, so I definitely didn't take that. But I don't know if I should be saying this. For How to Train Your Dragon, I took, um, I'm probably gonna get in trouble. I what you didn't the, take, tell us what you didn't take from the set. Um, I took a lot. But <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to help you out here. I, I took, I took my, my flight armor harness. I took that phone, that's just in like my little case thing. But. Yeah, I'm fired. <laughs> Someday we gotta like go somewhere with like full armor. Oh yeah, I'm like full <laughs> Viking attire. It's <laughs> this perfect. And it's weird that like you're like the, like it's like Vikings and Norse mythology and then I'm doing like Greek mythology. I didn't even think about that, it's really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh my gosh, we're like figuring stuff out on the spot. Up. This is like a Q&A for us. I know, it is, it's <laughs> interviewing you at this point. Did you mention what you, you we took for Percy Jackson? Oh, uh, what didn't I take? Um, I don't, I, I feel really bad, but I took like, I remember, uh, don't do this ever, by the way. I'm so lucky I didn't get into like big trouble. But um, they put like all my costumes in the trailer at the end of the day. Uh, and they told me to like pick out an outfit, but I didn't hear that last part. And so I just took it and I just put it in a duffel bag and I left. <laughs> and on the way out, I met one of the costumers and she said, you took them all. And I said, yeah. And she said, just go before they catch you. So hopefully I don't get put in like time out when I get back. I wanted to steal like, I wanted to steal all of my costume, but they did not let me because like, they're like really cool Viking boots. And I was like, oh yeah, I kept on saying it every day. I'm like, I'm gonna take those boots. And she's like, no, you're not. <laughs> Here's a, quick, a great question. Uh, what are your acting role models? Or, uh, uh, Walker Scobo? <laughs> Probably Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Basic things. Want to change your answer now? That's what I thought. <laughs> you want to change your answer? You're good with that? I'm going to say a. Um, no, I'm not going to change it. Ryan Reynolds. Can change it? <laughs> yeah! Ryan Reynolds, I have two. Here's a good one for both of you. Uh, what kinds of music or artists do you like listening Ooh, to? That's, that's a good question. Good. Mm. Well, you go first. Ooh. I like, I, I change a lot, but like Frank Ocean, like Charlie. Yeah! And like, I, I switch a lot, like like uh, Lucky Day, Tory Lanez. Yeah. I honestly can't name a single artist on my I just like find random songs, I just add it. Let's keep going. I guess Tame and Paul. No time I was in the I, I came to his house once and he was blasting Taylor Swift at the top of his head. Sorry, no, me. <laughs> um, this is a great question. Uh, I'm going to phrase it a little differently, but it's from uh, Malin. 
<laughs> if you could give Percy a piece of advice, what would it be in you know, base? What would you give? What type of advice would you give Pick up? Based what on the journey the they're on, they're on a wide. I'm, I'm not going level. first. Yeah, I can't. Don't mind me. That's a, dang, that's a great question. We have to think about that. Um, for a Moment of silence. Just such a good question. Is. We're just going to keep talking about how great of a question this is until we figure out. By the way, I don't know if I've said this. Just stay out question. of danger. Just stay out of danger, really. That's the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stay away from gods. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Yeah. Pick up, I guess. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Don't, <laughs> don't even try. <laughs> just, just don't. Just don't. Just give up. Yeah, just fall. Just start working out. I'm <laughs> like, the gym, man. Get the gym. Other than those acting role models you spoke of, who, who is someone you would like to be in a, in a film with or a TV show? Other than each other, don't ask the audience. Other than each other, I was gonna say this. Yeah, other than each other, answers, yeah. Give us something that's uh, just out, out, out there. Recently, I wanna work with Denzel Washington one day. I feel Ooh. like that's like... <laughs> Got Denzel fans in here? I think... I got him. I mean, Christopher Lloyd would be awesome to work with. But, I don't know, I'd probably say Robert Downey Jr. I've always wanted to work with him. We got a question here for Walker. How does it feel to do the sword fight against Charlie from Sophia? Against Charlie. Uh, oh, that was. I actually not got. Luke, Charlie. Not Luke, Charlie. Um, Charlie, yeah, that was, I'm excited for, I mean, future sword fights, but that one was pretty fun. We always, like, every single time I talk to him, we talk about that. Um, but we both got to keep, like, versions of our swords, so maybe, maybe we'll do, like, a real life to the death one day. Wow. wow. <laughs> this is another question. If you were a demigod, what weapon or magic item would you like to have? That's from Savannah. Thanks. Well, this is actually, I was thinking about this the other day. I have Blackjack, he is Toothless. He is like a fire sword. We both basically have Night Furies. We both have Night Furies. Yours is just like a little bit... Cooler? Yours just doesn't talk. Like yours can shoot fire. Yours is a little... Eh, I wouldn't say. It's you know, better. It's... I would say they're about equal. Maybe the is a little bit better. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. A little What's bit. Your Thank you, Walker! <laughs> that was her question. Thank you for the question. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a really great question. Um, any... Funny behind the scenes moments on both sets for uh, How to Train Your Dragon and also Percy Jackson. I know Ariane said he posted, he was posting something about you for your birthday, some behind the scenes antics he was doing. I don't know if he took it down or he told me about it when we were talking that uh, <laughs> I forgot what it was. <laughs> we were filming, it was episode five, we were filming this long walk and talk, and he was drinking like a soda or something. And we, this is when we were really into like Karate Kid. And so I told him to hold it up and I'd kick it off his hand, but he held it up way too high. And I was really tight jeans. Uh, and I tried to kick it, and it just, it like stretched for a second, and the jeans like pulled itself back together. And then I just like, I've seen this. this. You saw the video? Yeah, we're like fell on the ground. Oh, right? it's so bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I can always, he can post that stuff, but I can always hold against him, his singing career, so. <laughs> he gave me a heads up on it. Hopefully he sees this. All right, if you're watching. He's in the crowd right there somewhere. He's hiding. He's hiding. He's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Any funny behind the scenes oh, mishaps? Yeah. Um, for there's a lot. I I, uh, I got injured a lot. I uh, toothless injured me. He knocked my chin because uh, for the dragon. I'm supposed to be saying this. It, it's like a giant mechanical bull almost. It's this giant mechanic thing in the air which I, I can like ride like like the night fury. And one of the times it just went crazy. And, and, and I think it was my fault, to be honest. I went down, and the dragon went up, and smacked me in the shin. And Nico, who plays Astrid, she like grabs my face at some point, like hold on. And uh, it really hurt my chin, I didn't know what it was. And then they yelled, cut. And I looked down, there's like a pool of blood. So I was like, okay, and Nico looked at her hands, was like covered in blood. And, I'm, and she thought she did it to my face, and everybody just looked at me and said, let's get him off the dragon. And then, yeah, then I got like four stitches. Not really funny, but. That's hilarious. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. No one put it online on social media like they did. <laughs> uh, let's see, you, it's, uh, this is from Summer. 
You, you guys are both bringing fictional characters to life. How excited are you for each other's upcoming projects? I mean, that's why I was freaking out. That's why I, I tried to play Fortnite with him to talk about it. <laughs> it's like crazy that we we're both doing like these like insane, you know, I, I don't even know how to explain it. No, it's oh, yeah. Crazy. I, 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 Percy is, I remember watching it. And, and I, I don't remember if I watched it before I met you or after. I think maybe, well, I don't know when it came out. When did it come out? I think 2010. Oh, no, no, 2010. No, no, no. Was it the first one? No, years. <laughs> years? Years. Oh, my. Oh, oh. Uh, I think season one came out December and January. It's been a long time okay, already. I met you before that. Yeah. For, yep, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just the yeah, actual. Sure. No, 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 Percy was so incredible. And no, I can't wait for season two. It's going to be so fun. So what y'all want to, so after we get a sequel for How to Train Your Dragon or the third season of Percy Jackson, can we see maybe, we can talk to people and get y'all to kind of make appearances in each other's work? That'd be really we need to do a crossover, like a full crossover. Where Percy's gonna be like mid fight or something, he's gonna look up and it's like, is that a knife fury? And then I'm like, oh, and, then so bad, and then yeah. we fly, and then and we like the distance the together, and, and, sunset, and, and you're like on the back of my dragon. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's yeah. I want to ask this last question. Time has gone by fast, but who was y'all's role models growing up, and who really truly inspired y'all to pursue acting? And there was there a certain moment too, like you know, you're watching a certain movie, like this is what I want to do. I, I think like my biggest inspiration and in why I do it is my dad. He's not an actor or anything, but he's just whenever he would pick me up from school on like a Friday, we'd always go to this whole movie theater by my house, and it was like a tradition. We just watch movies. And I've always wanted to, you know, be like a superhero. And, you know, I, I just pushed my dream. And, you know, to me, Hiccup is my superhero. So I'm glad I already had my dream role. Actually, kind of the same thing. Yeah, me and my dad, my dad always ran out like Marvel movies and we'd watch them and we'd always go to the theater and see the new ones. And I, I thought that they were real until like a year before the Adam Project. Uh, which is like not good, I don't think. Um, but yeah, then I figured out they weren't real and I decided that I wanted to do that. And so <laughs> I tried to do that, I guess, I don't know. But yeah. We're all glad you decided to do acting. We weren't, are we glad that they're <laughs> So I know Taylor Swift does her friendship bracelets. I don't do BFF bracelets. I do these awesome Nertropolis Nertastic pins I will give you. So hopefully you wanted a friendship here. Hopefully I can find a cameo maybe, or just, just bring a water on set. I'll be happy to do that as best friends now. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's hear it for Walker. Once again, this is Sean Taj, the mayor of Nertropolis, and stay tuned for more movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers.